Hi, in this episode we're going to take a look into E Squared Studio and see how we set up a simple breakpoint. Um, we already have a project here that's open and we're connected to this RDK RX63N board. And uh, we have some, some code here, it does nothing. Um, let's set ourselves up a global variable and see if we can set a breakpoint on that. So let's do unsigned integer that we're going to just call global and we'll initialize that. Um, although with globals they are generally initialized to zero anyway. And then we'll come down here into our main while one loop and plus plus. And hopefully that should build. So all we've got now is an infinite loop that just goes round and round and round and increases our global variable. We are going to update the MCU with a new .x debugger file, jlink dll. And there we go, we've got a successful debug connection. All right, now we can, um, here's a great way to check global variables. In the expressions view here, you can double click on this global variable to highlight it. Hold down the left mouse button and drag this guy over onto the expressions window. And there it is. Um, just like we did in the real-time um, refresh episode, we're going to make that a real-time, and let's just reset and run this and make sure that everything's looking good. Yeah, there it is. We've got a real-time thing going around. Okay, but we do want to stop it. So to set a breakpoint, over here in the left-hand gutter, we can just double-click, and it sets a breakpoint. And so now each time we press run, it hits our breakpoint, and it stops. In addition to that, you'll see there's a breakpoints view over here in the debug perspective, and that will show you that we've got a breakpoint set there. And we can very easily um, select and deselect and turn this on and off here without having to take it away. We can just disable it for now. We might want to put it back in later. And so that's a simple use of uh, breakpoints. For more information on eSquared Studio, including documentation and downloads, go to renaissance.com slash E2 Studio.